And welcome back to Doom. We're playing Knee Deep in the Dead where I make a bunch of errors and leave a bunch of notes and hope I don't screw up too much. Uh, we did glory kill one of the imps in the last episode incorrectly because we have this unbreakable card in play, or we did, uh, which increases the stagger value by one. So the imp that we glory killed only had one damage on it. We shouldn't have been able to glory kill him until it had two damage on it. So screwed it up. I'm going to keep that in mind. Anyway, we discard this card at the end of the round which we will do now. Um, and it also says end of round, place one uh, Argent power token on the demon card corresponding to each priority target. Well, the priority target got snuffed out by the Marine, so we're not going to be doing that. All right, so the demon player then will make a initiative deck based on whatever demons are left, which are none, and the Marine, of course, gets two so the deck is only going to be the two marine cards because there are no enemies left around to activate uh, also the demon player now will draw up to six cards they only have two so they're going to be drawing four more so i'm kind of doing that right now as well getting that ready of course you're not going to see them because it's the demon player he has secret stuff going on and uh, any other end uh, of effects. Well, that's it. So then we're going to, what's that's end of round. Basically, oh, and we're going to, as far as the uh, solo player goes, the combat engineer will refresh as well. I can use that once, basically per round. I don't think that refreshes at the end of his turn. That's an end of round uh, thing or status phase, I guess, is what we're into right now. So we're so we've prepared the initiative deck, uh, ready the demons, well, uh, the invader readies each of his exhausted demon cards. Well, we don't have any demons, draw event cards, the invader draws it, and to tell you six cards, gain Argent power, the invader can discard up to three cards in his hand to gain an Argent power for each of the three discard. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so that's the status phase, so we're going to be going right into the activation phase. Uh, which means we're going to be flipping over the car. So we're going to come back here in a second and start having our activation. All right, so continuing on, yes, we're going to be flipping over the first initiative card, which, of course, we know is our Marine, because, well, there's no other, uh, no, no demons and no other Marines around. So we get to go uh, have our Marine take his turn. And what does he want to do? He's got charge, he has reposition, double barreled blast, and he has discharge. Of course, he can play two main actions on his turn. First thing he's going to do is play charge, which is going to give him uh, two speed. So we're going to, again, I will try to keep track. I messed up the movement last time, too. Burn it. So he gets to draw a card, draw one action card, which he's doing. He draws, ooh, he draws his armor. Okay. And he gets two movement. Well, first thing he's going to do with his two movement, he's adjacent to the door. It takes one movement to open a door. So whoosh, the door opens and disappears from the board, never to return again. That's how doors work in the game. So uh, that cost him one movement. He has one movement left. Don't want to forget that. Now immediately these portals activate. Uh, and when the portals activate, the demon player gets to spawn lovely demons according to his uh, imp assault card. So I'm going to do that off camera because you don't want to be sitting here watching me placing things on the board. And when we come right back, this area will be populated with all kinds of lovely little demons. All right, the demon player has populated the board with all kinds of goodness, including a Baron from Hell, Baron of Hell, uh, which is a large figure. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six imps on the board as well. And there's three Argent Power tokens on the imp. And there's two on the Baron of Hell. Very, 
Very nasty. And of course, the Demon Player forgot to play this card, so we're going to play it now, kind of out of sequence. You're supposed to play this card at the start of the activation phase, keep this card in play. The stagger value of Demons is increased by one. Gee, we've seen this before because I had it all during the first round and forgot about it. But it's out there now, so let's keep that in mind. And I've also shuffled in uh, the two Invader cards with the remaining uh, Marine card to represent the Imps and the Baron of Hell. Invaders. All right. Our Marine still has one movement left. He's opened the door and is like, what? But anyway, that's what we have there. Uh, and he can play, of course, more cards. And he has his armor card, which is a one he can't play. He has reposition, which I think he's going to play. Um... Do, 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 and it gives him, it, it's one of the quick actions, gives him three speeds. We're going to play that. He's going to go from one movement, now he's up to four, which is not bad. So he has four movement. He's going to go one, two, and he's going to pick up the chainsaw. And what do we do when we pick up the chainsaw? We take the three chainsaw cards, we're going to shuffle them, and they're going to go on top of the draw deck. So there's rip and tear. You can read that if you want. We'll deal with it when we get to it. And enthusiasm. All right. So we're going to shuffle them up uh, as much as I can shuffle three cards. And I'm going to place them on top of the draw deck for our Marine. And there you have it. So he had four movement. He only has two movement left. God, i got to keep track of this movement going to drive me crazy. All right, he's played two quick actions, uh, and he can play two um, full actions. And so let's go ahead and we will play Discharge, which means it's a full action. Add one black die to this attack for each other static card you played. We played one extra static card, so he's going to get two red, a black die, and it gives him four speed. So let's go from two movement, he's up to six movement. Uh, and two red and one black die, and he might as well attack this imp right in front of him. I don't think he's, no, there's no blocking terrain, nothing. Just going to see if we can blow him away. So, two red and a black. And that is a total of five hits. Five hits, eh? And so we draw the top card off the demon deck and throw it on the floor, because we don't want to see what it is. God. All right, and there's nothing. No defense whatsoever. That means that imp has been destroyed. Uh, so boom, off the board he goes uh, with the static rifle, taking him out. That was one full action. Our marine still has six, count them, six um, movement left. And so I have to reshuffle the demon deck. So we're going to come back and we're going to continue on with our Marine's turn. He still has one full action he can use. All right, back with a Marine. And of course he has armor, which is reaction. He has double barrel blast. You may perform this attack one additional time. It's a full action. Gives him a range of three. Now recall we still have six movement left. Range of three, eh? So let's uh, wade right into the uh, into the horde here, and I think we're just going to start blasting away. Uh, you may, after you perform each of these attacks, you may roll one red die and choose a f one figure adjacent to the defender. The figure suffers one damage for each um, die rolled. So there you go. So we're going to play that card. It's going to have a shotgun double barrel blast twice. Now that's going to be pretty awesome. He's six movement. It has a range of three. Uh, so we're going to go, I think, one, two, three. Uh, do we want to go that far? Let's just go one and two to here. So that gives, we're going to blast at the imp right in the front because we're going to try and take him out. So, this is going to be the first of two attacks. One red, two black. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, one red, two black against the imp. Wow, seven, count them, seven hits. Oh my god. Only one defense. That imp 
blows up in a gory spray <laughs> uh, covering everyone else. So we'll pick this imp in front uh, to take the one red die of damage. Uh, and there's no defense against this one. Two hits right on. So this guy now has two damage against him. Uh, put the die next to him. We do get to attack one more time. We still have... Oh god, did I mess up the movement? I think we still have six... No, we have four movement left now. I hate the movement in this game because <laughs> I keep forgetting it. So, yeah, we have four movement left, I believe. Seven, eight, we had nine movement total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have four movement left. Oh, God. All right. Uh, at the second attack, we're going to attack this guy, which is, I believe, uh, fully exposed again. We're going to go from this corner, and there's nothing impeding anything. So it's a full attack against him. Two black, one red. And he's only he's three away, so another shotgun blast to throw this imp. Doing two, three, four possible damage. One blocking. Three damage is enough to kill this imp. You can see the solo marine doing an extremely good job. We might as well hit this guy with the one red sort of uh, over splash damage to see if we can kill it. Two damage on this one. This imp also is destroyed. Wow. So the Marine still has four movement left. Absolutely smack these guys down. It's going to take his four movement to go one, two, three, four. Tucking himself way back in the corner around the bend. Good stuff for our Marine. Uh, it's the end of his turn, so he will discard the cards he played. He will draw up to four cards for his hand. So now he has armor. He has, of course, the three chainsaw cards that he just got from the chainsaw. So he goes around the corner, fires up the chainsaw, and is now waiting to see what's happening. So we'll come right back and do another initiative card. All right, so we don't know who or what's going to activate next. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, it's going to be the Marine next. Huh. Well, he gets to go again. Uh, this time he has a mitt full of uh, chainsaw cards. So he can't really use his armor enthusiasm. Uh, gives him three speed. We have three. He could have a total of six, 11 speed. Wow. Okay. Yeah, what's the range of this thing? Range is one for rip and tear. Hmm. Well, I think he might go and try and rip and tear the Baron of Hell a new one. We'll see if we can pull that off. Uh, this says, during the activation, while you, while you and a hostile figure occupy the same space, that figure's printed stagger value is reduced by three. I don't know if these stack. Because uh, then it would be reduced by 6, and then reduced by 4, reduced by 10. I don't know. You know what, I'm going to have to go do a rules check on this. And see if these stack. I don't know if they do. But I want to find out before I mess up any more rules. So we'll be back in a second to see if we can stack those chainsaw abilities. Alright, so a quick scouting around on the net and BGG and a bunch of other things. These, the printed stagger value, these cannot stack. So you don't reduce it by three, and then reduce it by another three, and then reduce it by four. I am going to play all these chainsaw cards together, giving me three, six, eleven movement. But the stagger value uh, will only be reduced by four, which is the highest number. So we're going to have eleven movement and a chainsaw attack, uh, which could be... Pretty beneficial. Now we're going to uh, reduce the stagger uh, value by, uh, what did it say, by three, because we have, or yes, by three, because we have four, minus four for the chainsaw, but plus one for unbreakable. So uh, the stagger value of one here reduced by three is going to be, so just zero. So the chainsaw, we can just step onto an imp space and just saw it to oblivion. Uh, with our current setup. 
which is pretty darn cool. But I think we want to try to knock this Baron of Hell out if we can. He's the one carrying the sample, or is the sample we need. So with 11 movement, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Leaving me 4 movement left, which is pretty awesome. You'll see why. Again, overpowered for the Marine, but hey, who cares? It's fun anyway to wipe the demons out. So we're going to attack the Baron of Hell. Let's take a look at his card here. The Baron of Hell has 13 health. He has a one uh, shield uh, permanent damage absorption when you attack him. So he's just going to shrug off one damage no matter what you do. Uh, but we got we to gotta do him 13 damage. Or if, uh, his stagger value is 10. So if we can knock him, uh, if we can put... Uh, seven damage on him, we would be able to step onto his space and glory kill him, which would be absolutely awesome. Let's see if we can do it. Our chainsaw, we're going to be rolling three red dice and a black die, and we get to re-roll any number says, while you're performing this attack, you may re-roll any number of dice. Now, I don't know if this stacks as well. While attacking, you may discard this card to re-roll any number of dice. I don't think you can re-roll a re-roll. So I'll just say that we can't. So three red and a black, come on, lots of damage. Um, we're gonna keep the two, and we're gonna re-roll all three of these because they're basically, I'm sure we can get more damage than that. And did we? Of course not. We got a sucky roll, damn it. Well, two, three, four, five damage against the Baron. The Baron, of course, will then draw a card for uh, Defense gets one, so that gets rid of one of our damage. Uh, keeping in mind, um, we have four movement left. Let's not forget that. I don't want to forget it. So four damage. However, of course, the evil, evil... Uh, oh, damn it. Out of turn again, the demon, demon player was going to play this card, Iron Skin. Play this card before any dice are rolled by an attack targeting a large demon. Place this card on top of the event deck. So this would have been placed on top of the event deck. It would have blocked three damage. Not the card we just drew blocking one. So two more damage goes away. Basically, okay, sorry I did that out of turn. Did mean to play that card. Trying to keep everything um, sort of figured out here, which is not easy when you're trying to play the Marines. Keep the rules straight, play the demons, look at all the card abilities and everything at the same time. So I apologize for kind of messing things up, but all we've done to the Baron of Hell is two damage. Wow, that sucks. But what doesn't suck is we still have four movement left. And because we're doing the rip and tear maneuver uh, during the activation, which is still your turn, uh, that printed stagger value is reduced by four, increased by one, so three. So basically imps are zero. If there is zero damage on an imp, we're just going to go ahead and, and lawn more of them down. So we have four movement left. It's going to take two movement to step onto this imp, two more movement to step onto this imp. We have basically just chainsawed all of the imps into little pieces. They are all gone, which means we're going to flip over the imp card. <laughs> wow, they didn't even get to go. Not one of them. Uh, there were three, count them, three power, Argent Power tokens. They get discarded. The imps have disappeared. All we have left is a Baron of Hell with two health on it. Wow, that was absolutely devastating. That's going to be the end of the Marine's turn. He's used all his movement. All of his cards, he's going to discard. He's going to draw up to four cards. So I'm going to have to shuffle. He's going to get extra card back. Wow, that was absolutely pretty awesome, <laughs> I think. But again, overpowered for the Marines. But uh, I don't know. That was just pretty cool. Pretty frustrating, I guess, if you're playing the demon player and you're up against this kind of juggernaut. Uh, and so, gee, what do we get? We get Rip and Tear back, Charge, Quick Shot, and our Armor card. All right, it's the end of the Marine's turn. And all that's left is Invader cards. Now, I think because we've destroyed one of the Invader groups, we would 
uh, discard and then reshuffle um, the car. So I, this is the one rule that's kind of messing me up a bit. Uh, so what's happened is we have imps and we have the Baron of Hell, which gave us two invader cards. But the imps are no more. So do I go into the undrawn uh, initiative deck, remove one of the invaders, which I think you do. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. That card then just goes away. We reshuffle the initiative deck with what's left, which in this case is only one card. And boom, it's now the invader's turn. It's not going to make a difference in the playthrough right now, but it could later on once we start getting into more combinations of things. So basically the invader gets to go. The only invader left, of course, is the Baron of Hell. And he's going to be ending off our episode because he's going to be basically end of the round. He is adjacent to our Marine right here. So I'm just going to readjust the camera a little bit and we're going to have... Uh, our demon player go with the Baron of Hell. So I'm not sure how well everything's uh, showing up here. So we have our Marine here, Baron of Hell here, Baron of Hell, not a happy camper. The Baron of Hell has two Argent Power tokens on his card. And uh, he will indeed go. And I think the demon player is going to actually look at his cards. And uh, we're going to take a look at the demon uh, Baron of Hell. He is vengeful. After an attack is performed targeting you, gain two movement points. Well, he gains two movement points, but where would he have moved anyway? He's beside the Marine. He's not going to move. Beat down. During your activation, you may spend five movement points to perform an additional attack. Gee, I think he's going to do that. And Grand Fireball. Once during your activation, perform an attack. Range six, rolling four red dice. He will do that because he has two of the Argent Power Tokens. So, I'm going to check some cards. We're going to come right back. We're going to have the Baron of Hell do the beatdown, possibly, on our Marine. All right, for the first attack from the Baron of Hell, we're going to play Demonic Precision. Play this card while the Demon is attacking. Reroll any number of dice. We're going to play that. We're also going to play Hellish Power, which adds one black die. So, that's a nasty combo for our Baron of Hell. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and do the attack. He has two black dice, make it three black dice. Of course, they only give you two in the game. I hate games that do this. They don't give you enough dice. Annoying. Uh, so I'm going to have to roll three black dice. Uh, and he gets to re-roll any number of them. So he's attacking our Marine. Three black dice. So a one and a two. We're going to keep the two. This will be the third roll. So two ones, so we're going to re-roll the two ones. So that gives us a t another two and a two. So a total of six. So, yep, not enough dice makes me annoyed. Hear that, Fantasy Flight? I'm annoyed. All right, and this is not the only game that they've done this with. Boy, it's irritating. Irritating me a lot. Okay, so the Baron of Hell did that. Six damage to our Marine. Our Marine then flips his top card for defense and blocks two of it. Haha! -ha. So he's only going to take four damage, but not so fast, the Marine says, because he's also going to play armor now, which is add two more. So he's only going to take two damage, and he's going to get to draw another card. Enthusiasm. Oh man. All right, so our Marine only takes two damage out of that big attack. Going to go from 14 hit points down to 12, if I can find the 12 on the 20 sided die. There we go, 12. Okay, that was attack number one. Uh, our Baron of Hell's not going to move at all. He's going to use the beatdown ability, which means he's going to use all five of his movement to attack again. But this time, uh, he's going to be playing another card, which is Crippling Strike. Play this card before rolling any dice for your attack. Choose and remove one die. After you perform the attack, the defender becomes stunned. Uh, do, do, do. Power attack. Um, no, hang on. We're going to save that. He's not going to do his second attack yet. Um, because the Baron of Hell is going to do this first. He's going to do the Grand Fireball first. Once you're in activation, perform an attack with six range and four red dice. So he is going to use Crippling Strike because that fireball thing is an attack, if 
I'm getting this all correctly. Choose and remove one die. So instead of rolling um, four red dice, he's only going to roll three. But it means after the attack, our Marine will be stunned, which is awesome. All right, so he's going to roll three red dice, attacking the Marine, doing, oh yay, two hits. And of course, our Marine player draws a card, but it's going to take two damage. So he's going to go from 12 down to 10. 10 health, and he will become stunned. Well, what does stunned mean, you ask? It's right here on the card. While defending, you do not reveal any cards for defense. Before rolling any dice for an attack, you remove a die. After you perform an attack, or after a hostile figure attacks, you discard this condition. So we're going to be discarding it right away because the Baron is going to give up his five movement now to do one more attack, which is two black dice. And our Marine can't pull a defense card and already used his armor card. So here we go. This is going to be straight damage from the Baron of Hell doing four damage to our Marine who is no longer stunned now because he has been attacked. So 10 health down to six. Our Marine still looking pretty darn healthy though after that. Uh, so, wow, there you have it. And that's basically going to be the end of the round. And so when we come back in our next episode, we will do end of round and then we're gonna do status start effects. Uh, so why don't we just do end of round right now, which means this card disappears. Discard this card at the end of the round. So no longer applies. And end of round, place one of these Argent tokens on uh, the primary target. Our primary target's the Baron because he has the sample. He's going to get another one of those tokens. He now has two on him. Pretty awesome. So that's the end of round activities. And when we come back for the next episode, we are going to be going into the status phase. Uh, and then we're going to be beginning another round. So thanks so much for watching along. This is Doom with me struggling uh, to get all the rules correct. I hope I'm doing a pretty decent job anyway. Give you an idea of how the game plays. And yes, this is the first scenario which I guess is brutally imbalanced towards the Marines. But it's my first playthrough for the new Doom, so I'm kind of trying to figure out all the rules correctly and uh, anyway, so whether it's completely imbalanced or not is not an issue for me. I've heard that the later scenarios get much more balanced. It's easier for it to be an either or as to who's going to win, but it looks pretty obvious uh, right now that our solo marine will probably handily win the scenario, but it's still a good learning uh, playthrough, I hope. Uh, trying to figure out how to play the game. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your subscriptions, your comments, your likes. Very much appreciated. Join me next time for the continuation of our solo marine mowing down everything in his path, trying to collect three samples while the demon player struggles to keep anything alive. And we hasn't even fragged our marine once yet. So thanks so much for watching along, and we'll see you next time.